Guys, I have Ariel Scarcello yeah. on her knees right now. <laughs> For the record, I like when it hurts a little. Good morning, girlfriends, boyfriends, and everyone else in between. You guys know on this channel that we are all about body positivity, sex positivity, the celebration of oneself, which is probably why I constantly get questions like these. And I think a big part of these issues actually lies within not knowing the erogenous zones of a woman. For those of you who don't know an erogenous zone is a part of the human body that has heightened sensitivity, which the stimulation of such might generate a sexual response, and it usually feels good. And I think another issue lies with in the idea that women are like, oh, you know, okay, I'll just like make out with her a bit and then just go down on her and like, that's sex, that's it. And repetitiveness like that can get quite boring. And I don't think women truly understand how much pleasure your body can actually give you. Woo! It's getting hot in here. So before we dive into the erogenous zone play, look, my, my bra's even coming off by itself. This is, well, it's not my bra, it's my shirt, but still, same thing, it's coming off. My, my body is ready. But before we dive into the secret erogenous zones, which I'm going to test using a feather on a very cute lesbian friend of mine, so keep watching. I also want to share three big secrets to help your body experience more pleasure than ever before. Number one is confidence. Everyone overlooks this. Having full confidence in your body and what you can offer somebody is very sexy and it also allows your mind to be at ease. One of the things that I struggled with my entire life with sexuality and still to be honest to this day I do a little bit is the idea that receiving pleasure in some way is inherently selfish, which it is not. If you're with the right partner, there is no rush, there is no time limit. You being able to experience pleasure and to share that with somebody and for that person to know that they are giving that pleasure to you is in itself an amazing feeling. Number two is temperature, believe it or not. Did you know that a woman is more likely to orgasm if her feet are warm? This is true, it's a fact. I've read this. And three, shaving. A lot of people also forget about this. Have you ever gotten into bed with fresh, clean sheets with freshly shaven legs? Like, it is, ugh. It's an amazing feeling, and the reason for that is because when you shave, your pores open up. Your skin is more sensitive to the touch, and there also isn't that hair in the way. And while a lot of people might assume that lesbians don't shave, which, we know different. I polled you guys on Twitter and apparently 63% of even masculine women enjoy shaving. And yes, in my opinion, it does feel better. I'm going to embark on a journey to Long Island to get to shave a really cute lesbian friend of mine and test the erogenous zones on her after we shave her. So I finally made it to Long Island. Are you excited you're gonna get shaved? I'm so excited. You I mean you shave all the time anyway. It's not like this is Every something shower. new. <laughs> so I want to thank Dollar Shave Club again for sponsoring this video. The reason I want to shave you is to show how much better it feels. We're gonna, we're gonna take your shirt off. Oh, and we're okay. gonna tease your we're gonna tease different erogenous zones on your body with your hair on it. And then we're gonna shave your body. Then we're gonna see how it feels without your hair. And we're gonna see how much better it feels. I've always been a fan of women that shave. I don't personally want vagina hair in my mouth. <laughs> I think you would agree with I me. I would go down <laughs> and keep the grass cut. <laughs> Okay, so what erogenous zone do you want to try first? So we have five on the okay. agenda for today. Your arms. Okay. These, these are secondary erogenous zones though, because okay. you know the primary ones are a little too sensitive for you too. We can't shave your vagina on camera, even though I'd probably love that. So we're going to do your, your upper thighs. Okay. Your knees. Your toes. We're not going to shave your toes, unless you have a hair on them. Which I, which I do. Which I do. <laughs> I love my knees. I'm permanently hairy, which is why I shave knees? every shower. Your Arab, I'm Italian. I'm Same Arab thing. <laughs> Before we shave you, I want to mention that right now, if you go to dollarshaveclub.com slash Ariel, mm -hmm. you can actually get the new member kit for $5. Which is, an, which is amazing. Awesome. For $5. So this starter set features the executive razor, a four pack of cartridges, and three trial sized versions of the most popular products to help you stay fresh and clean. Do you know what's called a shit shower shave kit? Shut up. Because like there's body wash, then there's shaving cream, and then there's like little like okay. wipes for your- No, there's like wipes for your asshole. <laughs> Which is like my favorite thing in the whole world. Can you feel it? Yeah. Does it feel good? Yeah. It's sensitive, right? That's like a super, super sensitive. Super sensitive. Area. There's not much hair I never there. really thought of it as an- Oh my god, stuff. it is! The inner arm? Holy it shit, totally yeah is. it is! Does it smell good? Mm, yeah, it does. Oh, it does smell really good. It smells like moisturizer. A little bit here. A little peach fuzz. On a scale of 1 to 10, what, how, how sensitive was it before? Uh, it was pretty sensitive. It's really sensitive. Yeah. I mean, this one's probably not going to make much of a difference because there's basically no hair here to begin yeah. with, but it is an erogenous sound, so we have to okay. mention it. Well, I got tingly. You get tingly? It feels really nice. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> does it feel better? It feels the same, I feel like. Feels there's not much There's not much hair in this, it's this area. I'm pretty bald there. <laughs> now we're gonna shave your armpits. Did, okay. you, did you know that your armpits are also a project zone? I did not know that. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, ready? Close okay. your eyes. I don't think it's the actual armpit, I actually think it's kind of more like... Like... Like over here. It's definitely there, because I got tingly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It, it, I think the erogenous zone is mainly like right there. 
Yeah. From what yep, I understand. It, it can be over here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh god, you are getting like goosebumps. <laughs> no, it's probably like six or seven. Six? Yeah. Okay. okay. I've never had anybody else shave my armpit for me before. <laughs> One of the reasons it, it feels better after you shave, mm -hmm. you know, sex or anything, mm -hmm. because you're, when you shave, your pores open up. Mm -hmm. Plus, it just makes a lot of people more confident. Yeah. And that's a big deal, too, believe it or not. This one might be the same, too. No, it actually feels better. Does it really? Yeah, it does. Isn't that crazy how it works like that? Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, ready? Okay. This is going to be your inner thighs and your knee, so we'll do both together. Guys, I have Ariel Scarcella yeah. on her knees right now. <laughs> I never in a million years thought I would be doing this. Would really? you say that? No, I went to art school. <laughs> I'm just milking. <laughs> You're just what? I'm You're just milking, milking it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, I'm not hurting you, right? You're some, not. Some of, these, some of these are like prickly. No, and for the record, I like when it hurts a little. Oh, uh, right uh, there? Yep. <laughs> I think I like the thigh better. The thigh so, better? Yeah, okay. so I would say six. Oh, you got a little hair right there. I'll fix that. Hey, thanks. That feels really good. It's an erogenous zone. I mean, the whole body can be erogenous. That's the, that's the great thing about yeah. this. Like, my, my upper back yeah. can be an erogenous zone, but only when I'm already turned on. Yeah. So that's a whole thing, too. It, it, it depends on... Your mood? It depends on your mood, too. Absolutely. Like yeah. If, if it's, like, anger sex, you're not going to want to do like that. No, you're gonna I'm going to want to fucking like, choke a bitch. And, and that, that, then their neck can be erogenous. Their, their neck oh, yeah. is an erogenous zone in that way, right? That's and that spot. Feels, is that? Yeah, it's definitely I can't my shave spot. that. There's no hair there. Does it feel better? <laughs> no, it's a nine. It's a, a nine. nine? <laughs> that's good. <laughs> because then you can't go up from there and. No, I can't. Not on YouTube. <laughs> Not on YouTube. No. Ready? Is it not super, sen super sensitive? For me, it is. My feet are crazy. It's not. Sensitive. Not for. Oh, no. right there was. Over here. So it's over yeah. here more for you. I never like thought about that. Oh my god, feet but are like crazy erogenous zones. It, they're all second. This whole video is secondary erogenous zones, well, yeah. meaning that people tend to not think about these things and they go straight for the number one and two. And it's like, what about the rest of me? So thank you so much, Dollar Shave Club, for sponsoring this video. Thank you, Michelle, to being in it. She's That's a musician, fun. guys, so if you want to check out her content, I'll have a link in the description. EP coming spring 2018. There you go. <laughs> and other than that, I will see you guys back here in a few days with a brand new video. And try these erogenous zones out on your girlfriends or on yourself, although that probably wouldn't work. <laughs> pay, pay, pay someone to try it out on you if you're single. <laughs> I will see you guys back here in a few days in a brand new video. Until then, love yourself and explore yourself. That's a new one. We'll say that in like video. Yeah. Bye guys. See your like your your top pose. Let me see like what you <laughs> I use like my little dick. And I to refer, mean what? I refer to my clitoris as a dick. So we already know that